Today on Logan Lee Adventures, we continue our road trip through the Salton region in northern Argentina with surreal outback views and tre, tre yummy dishes to eat. From Cafayeta, we continue our journey through Salta to the city of Salta, but first through this gorgeous passageway. It's going to be a long, long drive. It's about like a three and a half hours, but we're going to pass through incredible geological formations like this. Look at this. And how red it is. And even the sand is red here. Ah. It'll be really cool to explore this area. Especially on a day like this where it's just clear contrasting blue skies with the red and the green. Oh my goodness here. This road trip is actually so awesome as I love road trips but really like I love that we can just pit stop all along these like along the way it is super windy whoop, whoop, whoop. like you can hear me but look at this this is called the Ombolisco so as they call it but there's so many of these geometrical formations stops along the way and it's so nice that we can just pop out our car and then look at this along the road to Salta and through Salta, the region. Salta, the city, is where we're going to. That's why the region is where we're at. So this part where we're at is called Las Conchas, which basically means the shell. And if you can this whole ravine, this whole valley, because it resembles kind of like the inside of a seashell. And look, the shimmering of the creek is so beautiful. <sighs> okay, I can see why this is the picture postcard of Salta region. Literally, this is what we see like everywhere, like as Salta. And now this lives up to it. Wow, and just to be here and to just look out at this vast distance is amazing. Look at that single cloud over there. We're now going up the path of the three crosses. So there's three crosses of this pathway, but then it also gives you a whole view of the valley. So as this guy playing this very nice flute. Just incredible. How is all of this free? Like I swear, you can't even get national parks for free in North America. Yet here, this vast land is just anyone can come here. It's open and accessible to all. To the public as you can see i'm also out of breath but whew, than that damn all right ah. absolutely breathtaking can you hear the guy playing the flute it matches the setting so well I feel like I'm in a movie. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna descend now. So I have to be a little bit careful of the walk down. Oop! Oop! That's what I mean! 
Logan Lee Adventures? More like Logan Lee Lone Ranger. <laughs> This huge canyon is called the Amphitheatro. As you can hear, there's already some music performances happening in the heart of it down there. But what a grand place to host live music. <laughs> and just a grand place in general. Now entering the Gargantra del Diablo, which basically means a hellhole, which is quite accurate from how red the sediments are, but also how cool the surroundings of the curves of this opening is. It is lunchtime and I am so hungry. Okay, we arrived to Salta City. So, but first thing first, before we explore the sites, before we walk around the city, let's get some lunch. Let's get some local northwestern region of Argentina lunch because I'm so curious about the, you know, like different regions has their different food in Argentina. Definitely in Buenos Aires is very different, as you know, from this region of Salta and Jujuy. So I'm so curious about what dishes they have here and the traditional dishes. So we're at Doña Salta, which is the one of the best restaurants in Salta for traditional Argentinian Northwestern region food. And it's quite atmospheric. I really like how the servers all have this like outfit, uniform and tie on. And this room is like really nice as well. Ooh, that's one of the servers. Where it's like this funky white tie. <laughs> These are just so cute and I love them so much. We ordered so many different flavors from chicken to pork to just cheese ones. Mm. So good. Our other dishes arrived and we ordered a loco, which is this hearty squash stew. And we also got some tamale. You just cut it open? No, you have to unwrap it. And humitas, which are these two tamale and humitas, which are these two wrapped dishes right here. And we're gonna unwrap and try it out.
This dish is called lorco, which is probably my new obsession. A hearty Andean stew filled with squash, beans, corn, paprika, and chorizo. It warms me right up, especially for autumn days like this. Then we ended our meal with a flaky local dessert that was topped with nuts. Mm -mm -mm. I'm ready to explore Salta, the city now. After lunch, or should I say Salta the Linda is what the locals call it. Salta the Beautiful, which is so nice because this city is so beautiful for being in the foothills of the Andes. And there's about just over half a million people like residing here, which is quite a lot for northern region of Argentina. And this is like one of the main squares plaza, so we can go and wander and explore around. Okay. One thing though, the sun, we've been so lucky with the weather and the sun, but now it definitely has faded. But I mean, first of all, I'm fine with this as long as it doesn't rain. And the fact that it's still dry during this off season is perfect. Okay, let's see. This is Plaza Belgrano. And I think we're gonna head over here. This picturesque plaza that we're in is Plaza Julio Nueve de Salta, and this is Salta Cathedral. I love the pink colors of this cathedral. It just pops out in the city. And the details. This is gorgeous. The fact that there's just like a row of orange trees just lined up in this plaza is just so nice. It's like orange trees all the way around. Salta is the capital and largest city of Salta province, which is the same name after it. It's a city that's a vibrant mashup of old world architecture and sophisticated bohemia. I know it hasn't been long, but it's already dinner time in Salta, so we're gonna wrap up Salta with dinner. <laughs> uh, because obviously when you're here, you're gonna go all out and eat. I'm gonna show you something that I've noticed from the two restaurants in Salta, and actually a few restaurants, and it seems pretty nice. Look at this bean, bean beginner. So we did We just got some more, some more dips, some more beginners. So this is like, a spread that you can spread on the bread that's providing on the bread basket and we're at El Jura and it's a paella just right in the center of Salta and of course that means we're gonna get some steaks and some of those Argentine classic meats to try which I love you know I me mean, you know steaks all day every day So our 
ride. That sizzle though. I, this is like my favorite dish in Argentina and I've never had it served on a sizzling plate like this before so this looks and smells amazing. Okay, I'm gonna get one. The mojeas are is a piece of the pork, which is kind of like comes from the glands of their throats. <laughs> Do you like how I am giving you a presentation? But it is then fried on the outside. It is like a nice like bits of fattiness and juiciness all rolled in one, and like a little crispy on the outside too. Got a little chimichurri sauce there and some salsa. the lasagna and the entrecote that is soaked in meltback wine and let me just say this is phenomenal it looks so good there's even like a thick slice of bacon on top of it and then sides comes with like potatoes and some veggies but I've never had a steak just sitting in wine, but it brings out like this juiciness, like this sweet flavor of the grapes. And I mean, you know me, I hardly drink, but this is a nice way to do a wine pairing with steak. Mmm, so good. Muchas gracias. Gracias. Cheers. This is milk. But I don't believe that. Oh, it is alcohol. <laughs> I knew it. It's really tasty, though. <laughs> We're exploring the cultural center in Salta and it's just so cool because outside is this French architectural building and I love just walking around inside and seeing the interiors as well because you see these buildings from the outside how magnificent they are but in, in the inside it adds to that because look at this grand stairwell the stained glass windows there it's so cool. And all this is free. You can just wander in because it's a cultural center. Cultural centers all over Argentina are free to like explore, to see. And you can see like different art pieces around as well. It's really cool. Now our Salta trip is coming to an end, so we returned our rental car and headed to the airport from Salta City. But our adventures in Argentina is far from over. Up next, we head to our, another province in Argentina, Mendoza. So for now, leave me a comment about what you think of Salta province, give this video a like, and if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel because there's going to be more far-flung Argentinian adventures coming your way. Much love, Logie Bears!